Hey everyone, welcome back to another SAT math question video. So today we have a geometry problem and to be honest, I've been putting geometry off because I don't remember anything from it, but we're going to be tackling it today. So the question says in the figure AC equals AC equals CD. Okay. And the measure of angle EBC is 45 degrees. So let's label that. Boom. Okay, and the measure of angle ACD is 104 degrees. What is the value of x in degrees? So the value of angle AEB, that's what we're trying to find. So the angle of AEB. Okay, so how I like to approach, you know, just geometry problems in general when you're trying to find an angle is just... Um, don't try and take it in all at once. Just take it step by step, break it down, see what angles you can find, see what theorems you can implement, and eventually, you never know, you might find the uh, answer from that. So first off, they tell us that AC equals CD. So this triangle right here, um, triangle ADC, this is a isosceles triangle, right? Because, because these two side lengths are equal, then we know that... Um, these angles here, angle D and angle A, are going to be equal to each other. Because there's only 180 degrees in a triangle, and we know angle uh, A, E, oh, sorry, A, C, D is 104. I should add events. Boom, boom. It's like it's of 76 degrees between those two angles. And so we can divide that in half, and we get 38 degrees. So we know each of these angles, so angle A is 38 degrees, and angle B is also 38 degrees. Okay, so that's one step of the puzzle. So how exactly can we find uh, angle this X, right? So one way I'm looking at it right now is it's on this line right here, and we can use what's called the um, supplementary angles, right? Because two angles on a straight line will have to equal 180 degrees. So if you find this angle right here, angle DEB, whatever that is, if we find that value, then we can just subtract 180 minus that value, and then we get whatever X is going to be. So is there a way to find angle DEB? Well, it's actually pretty interesting because uh, they gave us the measure of EBC, this angle up here. And we just figured out the angle of uh, BDE. And so these two angles make up a uh, portion of this triangle, right? So it's this triangle right here. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. This triangle, all right? So we know there is, let me just switch back. There is 180 degrees in a triangle. So if we found two of the angles, 45 degrees and also 38 degrees then we can find the last value and this last value uh, let's do some quick maths I think that is 97 degrees okay so angle E is 97 degrees all right all right so as we said before now we can use supplementary angles so we know these two angles, this angle we just found here, 97 degrees, and angle X together, they will have to equal, so 97 degrees plus X, whatever that is in degrees, has to equal 180 degrees. And so we can do some simple maths. 83 is our final answer. So the value of X would be 83 degrees. And I think they wanted to represent it as just the value without the degrees because, um, they already state the degrees here. And so if you're really finding X, the actual answer is just 83. So yeah, there you go. That's the answer. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something.